there because apparently girls are much cleverer than boys. Indeed. After years of trying to explain comparative female academic success, and education experts realised what well, us women have known all along, and which Darren is learning, and what Darren is learning as these shows continue, that girls <laughs> are simply cleverer than boys. Yeah, apparently 30% of GCSEs taken by girls last year were awarded at at least grade 7, which is the equivalent to an A, compared with just 24% of boys. Mm, Professor Alan Smith is director of the Centre for Education and Employment Research at Buckingham University said it's striking how well girls do and how well they've done since the inception of the GCSE in 1988 and he's come to the controversial to some conclusion that it's because they're naturally more intelligent. I love the way you added in to some there. Yeah, I know. You have to ad-lib these things just to make it more accurate. uh, Well... (laughs) Someone who knows about performance in exams is the education commentator and former GCC and A-level examiner, uh, Annis Garfield. Very good afternoon to you. Um, I mean, as, as the only man involved in the discussion, I will defend ourselves by saying we're, we're not more stupid, are we? Isn't no, it sim- certainly you're not. Oh, thank you, thank you. Isn't it simply, though, on a serious note, that exams but, um, maybe are, are better engineered for, for girls, that uh, they're kind of a better... Girls are more adaptable to, to, to exams than, than boys are. Well, a boy will do better in an exam if he hasn't had to prepare for it. But it's the preparation, I think, that makes a girl do so much better in an exam. She's more diligent, more careful. She does what she's told. Whereas um, an enterprising, recalcitrant boy, I've just been talking to a, the father of a boy who... Um, spent far more time when he was meant to be working at home unsupervised far more time doing um computer games i think girls peak earlier they are more diligent certainly when i was marking everything from o level to gcse to a level in two subjects english literature and classical studies the girls wrote and wrote and wrote they couldn't stop writing. They wrote too much. They were much more enthusiastic. The boys, the boys didn't prepare so well. But if they were fi- had a question fired at them, they cope better. And boys and girls develop at different stages. They're different beings. I know we're all meant to be the same, but. Um, What about you, Darren? Have you got sisters? I have got a sister, yeah, and I've got a younger brother as well. Older or younger? Uh, So they're they're both younger than I am. Um, And I think think you're right in terms of being more diligent and um, essentially preparing more. I I quite like that, that boys would be good exams if they simply didn't have to prepare for them. I think that's true. And I think, think for me... Um, Actually, this is quite a serious point because it does mean that girls are more likely to go on to do A-levels. It means they're more likely actually now to go to university and do well. And that there is this actually quite substantial gap opening up uh, between boys and girls. And one has to think if it was, if the shoe was on the other foot and boys were steaming ahead, that this would be a more serious conversation. It would be, wouldn't it? (laughs) What about you, Becca? Well, I think diligent and recalcitrant could be our new <laughs> nicknames. Um, when we talk about, we look at the preparation for the show, I get in far before Darren, but I need more help. I wonder, but to Darren's point, should we be trying to engineer, re-engineer the exam system so that it takes into account the different ways that me- the boys and girls learn? Or do you think, that, that, because ultimately, later in life, men overtake women in earning, pa- in earning power, in top jobs, in all areas well, of society. Mr. Smithers, Professor Smithers has all sorts of answers for everything you put in his way to cope with that. He's been thinking about it, but take veterinary medicine. It's a six-year expensive course. A girl will have better exam results, GCSEs, A-levels, and therefore the the admissions tutor at wherever she's applied, Cambridge, London, Liverpool, Bristol, will be obliged to take her over a boy, although the boy is much more practical. And another thing about boys that nobody really takes into consideration is is that the exam term is the cricket term and the games term. And a girl is not thought the worse of if she sits and works, whereas a boy, if he says he's too busy working, will be laughed at very often. Um, And then the girls get into the veterinary courses. 
and they take up six years, expensive course. And then when they've qualified, they're very disappointed in their third year in practice that a farmer doesn't want them in the middle of the night to de deliver a bull calf and would much rather have a man. And so many girls then give up. They give up having wasted their time, the uh, deprived a lot of good boys of their places. And Twink Allen, who was, he just died. He was um, a vet in charge of admissions to Cambridge and so on. He agreed with me curiously. And I think that's what you have to consider. But you'll disagree with me, and so will Professor Smithers. Well, no, but girls was... very often don't train on, and mm. boys do. But, but that's, a society, that's the problem with, that you're just explaining. That's because the workforce that they enter, or the, 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 the sectors that they, that, they want, that they could work in, are pretty um, inhospitable to, to women. Well, they should have thought of that, and so should the admissions tutors have thought of that when they admitted them. Should they not? But, but, the, but the, coming back to our question, you know, and the question's written at the bottom of the screen in big writing beneath you, we're asking, are exams sexist, question mark? In conclusion, you, what, you would argue uh, that they may well be, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. That's about it, yes. <laughs> I think you have to accept that a boy at 16 isn't yet motivated, inspired enough, whereas a girl will be much more diligent and will do as she's told. A boy, until he's really seeing where he wants to go and what he's doing, doesn't get going. I've got three brothers and it applies in all their cases. Well, there you go. I, I mean, it, it is fascinating. It is. I, but, but, so, just, so, but you don't think we should re-engineer how we examine pupils based on the fact that we develop, we are men are from Mars and women are from Venus. You don't think that we should try and remedy this. We're quite happy with this chasm between attainment of girls and boys. I mean, like Darren says, if it's the other way the, around, we'd the be very upset. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Mm. What would you say, Becca? I mean, the problem I have with this is that this doesn't reflect women's fortunes later in life. You know, the narrative that society writes for most women is not one that reflects their academic attainment. And, you know, everything from the motherhood gap to the pay gap to opportunity gap, it doesn't really matter that they're performing very well today because it's so much harder for girls in the workplace up against their male counterparts. And also, I think we can over is it? this. Is it really? I think, I think we can also over this a little bit in the sense that, you know, not all the boys are the same and not all the girls are the same. You know, there are boys that actually are quite diligent and prepare for things and, and frankly, do quite well. Um, well, those boys you just had from St Ignatius, that school is amazing. It's indeed very, very impressive. And actually it goes against everything that is generally said about boys and girls. Yeah, well. That's a single-sex school, which is interesting. Do you and a Catholic school. Do you think that, that um, uh, non-co-ed education is, is better then? Do you think b boys should stay in all-male environments for their education so they're not distracted? Well, that, that's a very difficult one mm. again. What do you think, both well, of I'm, you? What were you at? Well, um, I, went to an all I went to an all-boys school um, and, and indeed a Catholic school. So I, I, I don't, it's quite difficult to tell because I never went to another school. So it's, mm. it's quite difficult to judge. To I, went, I went to a mixed comprehensive and I always thought it was the, the better approach because that's what the world is like. Well, there you go. Exactly. And, and it, that is what the world is like. Yeah. But if, if boys are going to be put off by more um, brighter girls, girls being brighter earlier, they're going to be put off. It'd be better that they, perhaps, I don't know, it's a very difficult one. What do you think of our, our GCSEs in general and our A-level system? Well, well, Are you happy with those continuing? At, at the mm. moment, since they changed the numbers, terribly confusing. Anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> Hannah's girl fields, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Really, really interesting, interesting talk. <laughs> Certainly more of a conversation than yeah. an interview, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.